Hello, and welcome back once again. It's Pokemon Violet. There is still a gathering around me for whatever reason. I don't know what to do about this except move on. Oh, there's a Terra battle over there. So, last time we defeated two gym leaders. Er, no, just one. I think we defeated the normal one. The water one was the time before that? Maybe? Anyway. I have no way- I am bad at keep track of time. We also discovered Tinkaton here. Unfortunately, her nature is currently not very good, but I have been informed that you can just straight up buy the mints in this game eventually? Next thing you know, I'm gonna be informed that you can buy bottle caps for cheap or something wild like that. Hello, Gardevoir. Guess you're in this game. I mean, that makes sense. I've seen worlds. What's this? Steel Mouse. All right, sure enough. Sure, sure enough. I'll... I'll start the day with a... battle against a steel mouse. Why not? Steel mice? The iron mice. I want to see how the crown works for this Pokemon, actually. This is important. Do they both get a crown? Do they share a crown? I need to know. Only one of them gets the crown. That's a little sad. I think they should get to share. However... Mouse with a giant axe is funny. So, you know, it does kind of balance out in that way. Low kick is not going to be very powerful because the mouse is not very large. I think. Uh oh. But the mouse is deleted. Mouse deleted. Mice deleted, I should say. I am assuming that those Terra shards that I have will eventually be usable to change the Terra type as well. So I'm getting the impression that this game just makes it easy to customize your Pokemon now. Like, giving you access to stuff like buying mints instead of having to spend a thousand battle points on them or whatever. That's unthinkable to me in a way. As in I would not have thought they would, I would never have expected them to do that. Simply unpredictable. And that truly does make me wonder how accessible the bottle caps are. I don't know if I have access to buying the mints yet, because I would understand if they restricted that until later. Because that's a pretty powerful option. Natures do make a fair bit of difference, so... Alright, you. Recover, huh? Right, your really weird salt technique. Uh, recovery's pretty good. Probably could have gotten rid of Headbutt or something. I think Knackle Stack also evolves at 38, so... We've got a bit of a way to go for that one. But yeah, let's explore the snowy region. Metronome. As tempted as I am to immediately leap off the mountain and glide down to the lake because I have a line of sight for doing so. 
Ice stone. Oh, well, okay. Hey, guess what? That's what the uh, funny whale needs to evolve. Snowscape. I didn't read that in time. Also, lots of Avalug and whatnot. Hey, what was that? The... Hey, what are you? Grievard. You were revealed before the game was released, but I didn't know you were so freaking tiny small. It was so small a puppy. I didn't think you were tiny. I thought you were like Mabostiff sized. Uh, Pluck? I didn't think you would be a small, tiny puppy dog. Oh, you go sleep. The, pi the tiny puppy be sleeping. This game has so many dogs in it. I've said that, like, a lot already. But it's important to remember how many dogs are in a game. What if I just side beam you, though? Okay, that's fine. I guess I've decided to use Luxury Balls in this context as well. I don't know if you evolve. I'm guessing you don't. If I had to guess, you seem like the type of Pokemon that wouldn't evolve. This friendly Pokemon doesn't like being alone. Pay it even the slightest bit of attention and it will follow you forever. That's very puppy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Puppy sound. Pick up. Maybe you do evolve, because... Docile and very friendly. This is... Docile and very finicky. And picks up random stuff. This is the most dog of dogs, despite also being a funny candle. Okay, I think maybe you do evolve, actually. Three eleven. While I'm over here, I should check. That's a regular Dragonair. Quillfish evolution not present. Dog does evolve. Okay. And now, as is the new tradition, I must check how dog evolves. I've learned how it evolves. It must reach a certain level at night. Anyway. Already beyond that level, it would seem. Uh, I guess everyone is just a friend now because this box is not picky. So we just found an ice stone. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice died for a second. And you know how much it loves the minerals. This is the Pokemon that was revealed beforehand. It's a Titan. Funny that they have a Pokemon with Titan in the name when Titan is a uh, type of Pokemon. It, ice energy builds up in the horn on its upper jaw, causing the horn to reach cryogenic temperatures that freeze its surroundings. Funny whale. Two. That is an ice type. If I decide I need one. As expected of a whale, a rather heavy Pokemon. Do not low kick this Pokemon, it will explode. 
because it would be weak to it and also is on the high end of the weight scale, I would imagine. Um, hmm. I think I'll wait till I have some experience candies. And then just whenever it's night and I have plenty of those, I can just give the dog a bunch of candy. Which is not something you should normally do to a dog, I think. Uh, right, I got Snowscape and I wanted to read it. A snowstorm lasting five turns boosts the defense stats of ice types. So is there like a second ice weather condition or did they just delete hail? I'm very curious to know. Okay, so... Alright, Magneton, Avalug, Punch Crab, Cat. Many things are around here. There's a... There's an outbreak of an unknown Pokemon in this direction. I suppose I should go to the Pokemon... Whoop! I should go to the Pokemon Center because it's close by. I love the smile of the small whale. It's a good Pokemon. Hello. All right, I fought you already. I thought that was a different one because I got confused. Bronzong is here. Another puppy is there. There's the Pokemon Center. I would like to heal my Pokemon. I think I'm going to head in the direction of over in the distance that doesn't seem to have much other than a weird outbreak of something I don't know. Because I want to know if there's anything else wacky over here. And I want to know what that is. Hang on. There's a funky fella on the map there. I don't know if you noticed that. Dog. Warf. Tell me about this funky fella that I see. You see them? I feel strongly that Funky Fella is a good way to describe that creature, whatever it is. Is it a water? Is it a creature of the water? Or of near the water? Well, there's Magikarp having a time over there. Oh. I could just capture you as well, Dog 2. Houndstone. You look like a Super Mario RPG enemy to me. Like, there's a specific Super Mario RPG enemy that is like a skeleton creature with a gravestone. And they have claws that look kind of like that, that reach out, and a face that looks vaguely like that, except not as a dog. I don't remember the name of that enemy. I'm sure there's multiple enemies that have that description that are palette swaps, but I don't remember the name of them. Sleepy Dog. That's fair. You're allowed to do that. You should survive this, right? Yeah. Good 
There's no real reason for me to insist on using a Luxury Ball. I'll just use an Ultra Ball. That seems like it's more likely to work. There's something behind the waterfall over there, too. What's that about? Houndstone. I don't need to evolve the dog now. A lovingly mourned Pokemon was reborn as Houndstone. It doesn't like anyone touching the protuberance atop its head. Understandable. Also a funny dog, Sandrush. Boosted in a sandstorm, huh? Now that's fascinating. I don't remember what ability the other dog had. I don't think it was that. Whale? Whale, whale, whale. It's time for whale. Dog. Appears to be barking at snowmen. Snow people. Snow individuals. Snow mercy. Oh, Glaceon. Now, normally not interested in old Pokemon, but Glaceon is here. I do love Glaceon. Gotta be one of the top eight Eevees. I think there's eight Eevees. I'm explaining the joke, but I think that's the joke. Glacian has Snow Cloak. Did you know this? It's no joke. Glacian has an identical speed stat to me, apparently, and also that can confuse. I forgot Psybeam had a confusion property. Thank you for reducing yourself to red health, Glaceon, I guess. Uh-oh. Be careful, Glaceon. That's fine. You can destroy my ostrich, I guess. That's fine. This music sounds so, like, not the mood I would expect from a snowy region. Like, the snowy region mood outside of combat is a little bit closer to what I would expect. They're usually very somber and all that. But this is pretty, like, excited. You know? It lowers its body heat to freeze its fur. The hairs then become like needles it can fire. I don't know if Glaceon has ever fired needles. But I'll take your word for it. Yeah, the music like outside of combat is a little more like... Somber, majestic... Etc. Cat gang over here. Delibird parcel. Shoutouts to the cat gang. All right. I've got to heal my Pokemon. That hammer looks like a monster hunter weapon, by the way both in design and, like, relative size. Is the funny creature still around? No. I don't know what funny creature that was. Well, let's head in that direction. Delivery! I'm a courier fan! I just love to dress up like this. 
Xavier the Courier. Fan. Well, you know what they say, dress for the job you want or whatever. I figured Scoville would be a good lead Pokemon in case of ice type shenanigans. I guess whatever Pokemon is here now is the Pokemon that's here now, though. That's a little unfortunate, but I think I can manage without needing to swap out. I don't know if Arbalava is going to stick around. As I've mentioned before, he has a very narrow, like, attack range. Please sign here, because he's only got grass and normal so far. Couriers have a pretty passionate fan base. It may be a niche interest, but we're out there. Or a niche interest. That's the word, that's one of those words I can never decide how to say. I think both ways are technically correct. To, to Montene Montenevra. Is that? I don't think that's the right way to that place. That's right. I'm totally lost. Understandable. Valeria, the student. Hey. That Taros looks different than the ones I was seeing before. What? Hey, there's some there's some more to the regional Taros than I Also it's a Zoroark. But there's more to the regional Taros than I thought then. There's like a secret fluffy mode. Huh. What's that about? Maybe I can look at Taros in the decks and learn about it. Let me sing you the song of fire and destruction. Through the fire and flames. That's more of a guitar song than a singing song. Fake out. Uh, better than Rock Smash, I think. Fake Out is a move that I really like, even though it's probably not that good. Actual Taros. Still fluffy. Wait, not very effective. I didn't read that. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm feared. Ah, uh, I'm going to use this again anyway. Oh no, my speed stat is continuing to go down. Hey, why is your why is your Taros fluffy? You're not lost at all, are you? Don't tell me you actually wanted to come out here. Well, there's several points of interest on the map in this direction. I was trying to catch a Pokemon, followed it all the way out here, and ended up getting lost. I think I'll call a flying taxi. It's good that that's a resource that's available. Uh, what I meant to do, and can still sort of do from here, is access the Pokedex. It swims by jetting water from its horns. The most notable characteristic of the aqua breed is its high body fat, which allows it to float easily. Aqua cow. So how do I, like... 
check different forms of a Pokemon is something I don't actually know. Oh well. So there's a special form of the Tauros. Interesting. I, I want... I want it to shiny. Cat Gang 2 is also here. There's a lake there of some kind. I guess this is a way that is goable. That's a primate. I'm not terribly interested. I'll take Psy Shock, I guess. Fight Squad over there. One of those Makahuta is simply underwater, which I guess is fine. Got a little distracted from wherever I'm going. I guess I can set that as the destination, and that'll make things a little easier. as a starting point. Perfect landing! Mostly. I wonder if I have been having any nice battles. I don't think I actually needed to do that. Okay, I haven't actually done anything in this specific region. So up here is Fairy Base, which I should not go after. Under no circumstances would that be considered a wise choice. What I want to do is go up here. I don't know how easy that's going to be to get to. Bears. Glaceon again. Presumably cannot just go up the river. Yeah, apparently that happens. Oh, I see a cave. Hold on. Hey, what's the deal with that cave? Oh. I actually did hear about this. You can Skyrim up the mountains if you jump backwards. Seems to be true. Very silly. I'm sorry, what was that? I'm sorry, what was that? Well, I guess we'll find out in some way. Poison jab. All right. Well, now that I know you can cheat up a mountain due to some knowledge that I remember seeing somewhere, I think someone told me about it. Yeah, I was told about it because I was talking about Skyriming up the mountain in a previous video. I'll have to remember that. I might be able to use that for evil. Unlikely that I'll be able to use it for good. Um, I need more data! I 
I've decided my research subject for the day. Allow me to collect some data from you! Okay. Ignacio, the scientist. Cats are running by. Meanwhile... Deleted. The data suggests that you have been destroyed. Oh, you're not quite destroyed yet. That's fine, I can just use Shadow Ball with the same Pokémon. Now you are destroyed. Wait, no, you still have more Pokemon again. How did I make this mistake several times? I don't know. Finally, it's time for Psychic, though. I don't know how I feel about Muck having texture. Like, now. Like, that's new. You can really tell that Muck is a pile of ooze. It was evident before, but... Well, the data suggests it more now, as the scientist would definitely say. Clearly. Rock slide. Well, so much for your unique move. It's probably not worth it. Why can't I seem to capture your data? I don't know what that means. I couldn't collect any data at all. Is something wrong with my equipment? I don't... Sometimes you can't just collect data with equipment alone, my friend. Snowbird berries. Saul's Buck Winter. It would be funny if Delibird evolves, and I should maybe catch one to, like, just in case that is the, is the case. But at the same time, what if I don't? This seems like an important location. Homest. Oh. One of you. I forget your name, but you're level 55 and I'm not going to trifle. Trifle is not the word I'm looking for. I'm not going to attempt to fight you. Comet Shard. How, just how backwards up a mountain can you go? Yes, okay. That is legal. So here we have a funky lake. Vaporeon is present in this lake. That's good. Gotta be one of the top eight Eevees, as I said previously. This looks like there could be something secret behind the waterfall, but there's not. What if I just try jumping backwards up a, like, sheer vertical surface? Okay, there is a limit to the shenanigans available to you. Understandable. But it had to be... I needed the data. You know how it is. A mass outbreak of wild bronzong.
I guess it's true that I hadn't seen Bronzong yet. That's a frightening outbreak that I can't really deal with, I don't think. Hey, what's over there? So Karat Trail. Hey, what is all this, actually? I didn't even consider this landmass before. There's nothing obvious over there. Hey, guess what? We've gotten distracted. Never mind, Ice. It's time for what the heck is this over here? It stands out visually, and I'm curious about it. Also, there's the lake. Look, we got some checkpoints. We, that still means we've made progress. Wow, whale formation. And you. The whale formation, and you. Okay, this is just a lake surrounding type of area. That's the sound of falling from a height. And what do we got over here? Spider. Heracross. Leafeon. Gotta be one of the top eight Eevees. Okay, things are getting high level here. Danger activated. This Leafeon would not listen to me were I to capture it. However, I'll still try. It won't work. I knew it. This Leafeon is preparing to fuck my shit up, as they say. It'll be fine, right? Uh... Hey, what time is it? It's Duskfall time. It's, that's right. No, it's not. Uh... Leafeon? Look, I know that you love dancing in swords, but I would prefer that you don't kill me. Oh, okay, that's not actually a relevant technique for dancing or swords. This seems like a place I shouldn't be at. However, I am here. That is the technique of dancing and swords. Maybe I can manage to paralyze you. Or maybe I best not be here. I think I might just be dead, unless I have something very quick. Uh... All right, who's my fastest Pokemon? The one that just went second and died. Got it. Cool. We can only desperately try and vanquish the Lethion at this point. That's a big hammer. Oh, Lurantis is here too. Uh, Gigaton. Hammer! It didn't... <coughs> it didn't do anything. Should have used Fake Out. This Leafeon is seriously going to kill my entire party, and that's pretty funny. Uh... I could Terastalize. <laughs> However, if I defeat the Leafeon, I will surely gain power. Oh. Fascinating decision, Leafeon. Goodbye. Uh... Well. Depending on Leafeon's choice. Who knows what'll happen? 
I'm dead. I guess I can run. Okay, Leafeon, just go ahead and kill me, I guess. Except I ran, so don't do that. Uh, I'll be a little more careful. <laughs> I can examine the level of stuff before I engage it in combat. But now that I'm over here and I've been nearly destroyed, I need to see what else is over here, is the thing. Farewell. Congratulations on your victory. I'm leaving. Ah. 65. 53. I finally find you, but you're level 55. Yeah, I shouldn't be here. I found a mass outbreak of wild fortress. I'm going to leave. Let's go back to the place that I was intending to be instead of the place where I'm going to die. Okay, anyway, uh... That brief detour aside... Might as well go here, though I think... Among the very greatest, and... Once a renowned snowboarder, I think one of these is less threatening inherently than another. Maybe I will catch Delibird while I'm here. Hey. Just in case. Remember a randomizer run I did? I don't know if you would. Where uh, a whole bunch of stuff evolved into Delibird, and it was like a running. Oh, never mind, you're dead. It was just a running thing that everything was evolving into Delibird. Close combat, eh? Well, I guess it might be time to replace Low Kick. Low Kick may be more reliable in some situations. And close combat could be dangerous as a choice, but... At the same time, it's fine. Oh, I see why this is the direction. That that sign is correct. Never mind. I was just getting turned around real oh blah. That's the sound of swerving to avoid a whale. I was getting turned around trying to read the map again and failing. I wanna know what that one funny creature that I saw on the map that one time was though. This is my spot. This is my spot. If you want to camp, go find a spot of your own. Hiker, Manuela. Camel. Not what I expected. Ah. Well, what is effective against a camel? Nothing that I have. I need a water type Pokemon. I need access to water attacks. It's a strong type and I don't have any. That's a gap to fill. I don't think that would work very well. Stop yawning. I say as if I'm able to stop being tired. Dazzling Gleam. Oh, heck yeah. Congratulations, Espathra. You just got a very strong move. Well, I mean, it's not the strongest move in the world, but you also having fairy-type coverage 
You've got a weird type coverage advantage going for you. And now you're sleeping. You sleep with your eyes open. Veluza! Fulton Veluza! I'm starting to wonder if Arbalava is just going to end up sticking in the party because I can't find anyone else to swap in. I could use a Veluza, except I don't know about... I like Veluza. But I can't think of how to use Veluza without getting destroyed because Veluza's gimmick is sacrificing their HP to actually have good stats. Not that their stats are bad. But notably, their speed is only like average or like a little bit above average. And it needs to be like good instead to avoid using that move. You have a lot more Pokemon than I thought you did. Um, I just want to use the Gigaton Hammer again. If I can buy an herb, I might keep Tinkaton in the party. Because I do really like this design. This is a friend who will defend you till the end. Fake out. Boop. Fake out's just a free small little hit. Oh no, my attack power that I'm using. Gigaton! Hammer! It still didn't do very much. Not only do I have a minus attack nature, this is more of a tank Pokemon, honestly. As I think I already established. Well, fine. Okay, so I need ground and I need water. Those are some attack types I'm missing and things to consider. Oh, Discharge looks neat in this game. I thought that would happen. That has like a pretty high paralyzed chance. No problem, though. Are you just here for a hike, not to camp? Camping was an option in the previous game. The previous mainline game, I should say. Not this one. This game only has picnics. Picnic only, no camping. Food always tastes better up in the mountains, doesn't it? I guess exhaustion is the best spice. I don't think exhaustion is as good or best to anything. I don't think you should... What is what is happening here? Oh, it is merely dog. I like the funny dog hide in the snow. That's good. That's a good feature of the dog. I'm presuming that's what all the bursts of snow... Or actually is just the dog. Maybe I'll not destroy you this time. Uh... Ghosts can't receive presents, I guess. I think it's safe to say it's not nighttime. I don't know if this will. I don't remember how nest balls actually work. Ah, 
Ah, uh, I need to remember I have quick balls. I keep forgetting. That'll work. I just want to see if they suddenly decided Delibird should evolve in this game. I'm gonna guess no. It always carries its food with it wherever it goes. If attacked, it throws its food at the opponent. Are you telling me Delibird eats gift boxes or something? Okay, you're directly next to Cub Chew. So you don't evolve. I didn't think you did, but it was worth... It was worth running over Cub Chew by accident, I guess. Unintended, please resume your regular activity. Such a shame. It was such a shame what happened to Grusha. That accident ruined his snowboarding career. Eduardo, the student. Faulty Geist. Right, you're here. Time to destroy a ghost. Oh. Time for the ghost to protect the ghost. Which is itself. Time for nothing to happen. And now you perish. This is Ghost Town. Not like a ghost town, but town with ghost in it. I'm probably not going to do this gym yet, because I think... I'm getting the impression that this is a higher level one, most likely. By the description, anyway. But I could be wrong. Let's try close combat. Yep, that's close combat. Wait a minute. There's no way the amulet prevents that from lowering my own stats, right? Because if that's the case, that's absolutely bonkers. Sorry for going on about old news. I suppose that all must have all must have been before your time. No, I'm just short. I can read the map and learn about stuff. Piper was cold. Russia was once the second best snowboarder in all the world, but he was injured in an accident badly enough that he was forced to retire from the sport. That sucks. You don't need me to tell you that. Montenevera. Montenevera. Just lovely. I can buy Ultra Balls now. That's important. I didn't think to check that a second ago. I've got plenty of healing for now. Let's explore the town a little bit before we decide what to do here. Also, I need to teleport somewhere with a Chansey shop, maybe. Because that is apparently where the uh, mints are sold. If there isn't one here. There is one here. Well done. Snowrunt. Isn't Snowrunt cute? Only the females have a chance of evolving into Frostlass. <laughs> That's true. All right, so not yet. But later in the game, presumably. Pokémon are just it's too darn cute. Great. They put Snom in this game. They knew what they were doing. 
And what they were doing is putting Snom in the game. Everyone's just commenting on how cold it is. So chilly. So icy. So stiff. So sandwich. I should buy ingredients that I don't have. I haven't made a sandwich in a while. Cucumber. You can make a cucumber sandwich. going to get everything that's available. You could just make a bunch of peppers on the sandwich, I guess. Alright then. I thought that lantern was a Pokemon for a second. So ghost type gym is here. There's the arena. Oh, you just have a gym that's sort of like its own place and not a town. Interesting. Well, maybe next time we'll try some of this gym battle. Maybe. Until then, this has been Pokemon Violet. Thank you for watching. I will see you again later.